Of course there's another trailer. Of course there is. Hey, all right. This time, Indiana Jones. This will probably be the last one I take a look at for this movie before I go and see it. I do think I'm going to see this one. I don't know how much hope I have for it, but I will check it out. Let us see what we've got. Wow, Open, opening an Indiana Jones movie with the Rolling Stones is throw me off. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Dad told me you found something on a train during a war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Don't move. Please get out of here. Sorry. Dr. Jones, get him. And they're just letting the song play. I'm so, like, Sympathy for the Devil is throwing me off a lot. Hitler made mistakes. And with this, I will correct them all. You stole it. And then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. Just wait! Fasten your seatbelt. There might be some tablets. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. Stop playing Sympathy for the Devil! times in my life I've seen things. I've been tortured with voodoo. I've been shot nine times. Including once by your father. Ah, sorry. But I've been looking for this all my life. Okay, I'm I'm sorry I kept bringing up freaking sympathy for the devil, but that woo woo like hearing that like the rest of the song faded out, but I still kept hearing that. I'm like, stop! Oh, see this, I honestly think that this is the biggest problem with pulling Indiana Jones forward, and that this was also a problem in the last one. Like, there's a fair number of problems with the last one. I actually am not nearly as down on Kingdom of the Crystal Skull as a lot of people are. I actually think I would rather watch that one than Temple of Doom. I know I'm in the minority on that. But anyways, um, the most painful part of that movie for me was the opening stuff set in the 50s with like poodle skirts and jukeboxes and Seeing Indiana Jones there, like, this feels wrong. This feels off. He doesn't belong here. And, frankly, he doesn't. The character was designed to function in a very specific era of time, meant to evoke a specific kind of adventure that fit in a very specific era of time. But Harrison Ford wants to keep playing him, and we can't pretend he's not that old. As good as the de-aging is, they can't afford to do that for the whole movie. So, uh, push him forward further. And they're playing the Rolling Stones, and they kept playing it. Ah! Look, I know, I know that eventually, like, they'll get him on the globetrotting adventure, and they'll get him into locales that feel less affected by time. I mean, that's what that's what Kingdom of the Crystal Skull did. Got him down to South America, you know, away from, you know, what was at the time pop culture, and it worked better. Again, I know there's still problems with that movie, but I, oh, Lord. Can I even assess this trailer separate from that song? And I like that song. Like, let me be clear on that. I like that song. 60s and 70s Rolling Stones is peak so I I think while their uh discography as a whole 
isn't better. I do think 60s and 70s Stones is better than the Beatles. Boy, I'm going to get dragged to hell for that. What the hell? It's on the record now. Oh, and by the way, Queen is better than both of them. But anyways, <sighs> I like this music. I don't have a problem with this era, but he doesn't belong there. As is kind of evidenced by the fact that they're shoving in all the World War II stuff. I, I just hope it's fun. That's my main thing. I don't think I have any high hopes for this outside of it being fun because Last Crusade was the place to end it. It just was. They literally rode off into the sunset at the end of the Last Crusade. I, d I don't know about this. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll find out. Like I said, I'm probably going to go see it. And I'll hope it's good. Like, I know Harrison Ford really likes playing this part, and I hope that comes across on screen. But I can't think of <laughs> what the heck to even focus on in that trailer other than that freaking song kept popping up. Even when they brought in the main theme, I was still hearing the woo woo. Ah ha ha. Oh, God. I've never had this before. I, I can't think of any other time where like the song choice basically broke my brain and made me unable to properly digest the trailer. Oh, I'm probably the only person this happened to. I'm probably the only person with this degree of hang up. This is my issue. I have no opinion to share. This was an awful reaction. If I was smart, I wouldn't upload it. But I shot it. It's content. I'm gonna do it anyway. Just on the off chance they won't demonetize it because it's about a 50-50 split on trailers and you never can tell who's gonna be a jerk about it. Now I'm just rambling. I need to stop. Why did I do this? Why did you watch it? Why did I upload it? Do you have answers? I don't. What'd you think of the trailer? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon pays the bills. Enables me to do whatever the hell this is as a job. But even if you can't help me out that way, and if you've watched this all the way through, I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to help me out that way. Like, share, subscribe is not going to cost you anything, and I appreciate it. Maybe with a little more attention, I will figure out what the hell I'm doing. But in any case, try to have a nice weekend. Try and take a relaxed attitude around here. Didn't happen today. Just come on back next time you need a break. What the? I. Whatever. My thanks to all my patrons, but in particular, I want to thank Robin Moore, Zubin Lutfulla, Sarvis, Tarak, the thing that goes doink in the anime, Ruth, Oliver B. Solitary Pictures, Ulrich Bogdan, Melinda Walters, Emu Delke, Leotha Boyd, Auntie Kate 808, Becky Sparks, Fernandi Likes the Poodle, Robin Powell, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Tim Price, Adam RDL Taylor, Goddess Alita, Alida? Mm, I'm not sure. Ah! David Hall, Shayla Gourley, Rosalind Bennett. You want to hear me? mess up your name too, it's in the Patreon perks. I gotta work on that.